Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer, and today we'll be taking a look at our Hollywood Racks Destination 2 Bike Platform Rack on our 2022 Volkswagen Taos. So this is going to be a very lightweight, compact bike rack. If you want something that you can store very easily, whether in your trunk, in your garage, even in your back seat, this might be a great option for you. Now it doesn't have like the weight capacity for heavy electric bikes and things like that. So we'll talk about that. We'll talk about those different features, those different specs, but we're going to focus on our Taos here today. That way you can see what is the better fit for you your different types of bikes, and your vehicle. So the first thing about this is that this does not tilt away. So if you want to be able to open up your hatch, you're going to have to take your bike off. Now the way the bike is mounted to this rack is we have a 35 pound weight capacity. We have three mounting points. So one and two are going to be our wheel straps. The third is going to be our frame mount. So this moves up, down, left, right, and even around depending on your frame. So compared to some of the other racks in this affordable price point, those have hooks that come down and they make it kind of tricky for those different frames. So when you have those women's bikes, those children's bikes, or those step through bikes, you need to get a separate frame adapter bar. With the mass being so low and with this frame mount, you don't need to get a separate adapter bar. So we're gonna take our bike off. And we're going to start over here at the wheel straps. You just press this lever and that disengages the strap, allowing you to lift it up and out of the way. I like to just swing it over to the side. That way it doesn't get caught up in our spokes. That's going to be the first strap. And here is going to be the second strap. Press that lever, lift up, and then bring it over to the side. Here on our bike, we have that frame mount, and it's gonna be kind of tricky depending on your different bike's frames. So just figure that out for yourself. Just take some time to do that practice. I like to wrap my arm around the bike as I press this lever with one hand, and I lift the strap out with the other. Now once that is disengaged, all I need to do is just lift it over that short mast, and then I am ready to go on a bike ride. So I'm just going to leave this bike over here to the side. That way we can take a closer look at the bike rack itself. One thing to take a look at is going to be our cradles here. So the Destination has a unique design. They have it where it's kind of like wings here because of the way it's art. And then you have these wheel straps. These can actually be moved up and down the cradles. You just have to do the bolts and stuff. These wrap around your wheels and secure them in place. You do get a maximum wheelbase of up to 48 inches with this. You also have this rubber cushion on top. So this goes around your wheel and secures it. And with that rubber cushion, that adds to that grip on that wheel as well as protects the wheel as you ride along. Now, with it in this position and with our bike off, you can see how we now have clearance with our hatch. Even with this in the upright position, with its house having such a small door, you can definitely get clearance there. The downside is you did have to take your bike off. So compared to some other bike racks where you can tilt them away, then you can keep the bikes on. But with that feature, is also a bit more of a premium price. Now we're gonna lift this mass or we're gonna bring this mass down. We have this knob here. Just loosen that knob, then rotate that stand, and then you're gonna lift the entire thing down. So the way that Destination does this is you have two options here. You can use your wheel strap to tighten it down. You can use your frame mount to tighten that down. Whichever one you choose, I like to use the wheel strap actually, just because I think it gives me a little bit of a better fit. I do recommend just switching it around so that your straps don't get used to that um, position on your rack. Now, whenever you're carrying around anything on your hitch, it's going to add a little bit of length, so we'll take some measurements to see exactly how much it adds to our Taos here. Measuring from our bumper to the end of the rack, it sits at 22 and a half inches. So you can see how this is definitely going to be a compact rack compared to some of the other platform racks that are going to take up more space. So whenever you're backing into your garage or trying to park into a really tight spot, it's definitely a measurement worth considering. Now let's also take another measurement, also very important on the house because it doesn't have much ground clearance. 
So at the end of the rack to the ground, it's 17 inches. It does dip down at the end of the wings though, and that's just 12 and a quarter inches. Compare that to the shank, which sits at, let's see, eight and a half inches. So you can see how we have a little bit of a shank rise here. That way our bikes are sitting higher up off the ground. When you go up those steep inclines, like those driveways or hills, definitely something worth considering. You wanna make sure any hitch accessory has that rise. All right, next feature is going to be the compact or portable feature. So what you can do is if you're not planning on going for a ride just yet, or you wanna store this in your garage, you can fold the rack up. So on the side, we're gonna have a clip. I took that clip out already to make this faster. And we have this bolt. So this bolt just uses a knob just to make it easier to loosen. Once that's fully loosened, you can just let it hang there. You're gonna lift up on the rack and it's gonna line up right to where you pop that bolt out, put it back in, go all the way through. And once you're done, don't forget to secure it with the clip. So this is gonna be the compact or the portable position. Let's take some measurements. Measuring for closest point, you can see here that with our frame mounts, it's probably gonna be the close it gets to our bumper, and that's two inches away. The length it now adds to the back of our vehicle is gonna be from the bumper to this hinge, and that's only nine and three quarter inches. So plenty of space saved with it in the portable position. What is it like living with a bike rack behind you though? Well, notice how our rear window is completely visible, our taillights are visible, our license plate and our backup camera is visible too. Let's try something out. Can we open up the hatch? Yes, we have clearance here with the hatch as well. So even with that bike rack on, you do not lose access to your trunk. You can still grab or put away your groceries, things like that. So that's pretty cool to see. Okay, let's talk about how this fits into our hitch receiver. We have an inch and a quarter shank. This includes a two inch hitch receiver adapter though. Since we have a two inch hitch, this pops right in. This, is, this uses a three quarter inch socket to tighten down. You do get a cable lock and a lock at the end that goes right in there and secures your bikes. Once that's tightened down, it creates an anti-rattle experience or effect. How does that work? Okay, I'm gonna shake our rack back and forth so that way even with the adapter, you can see how you're trying to move it. <laughs> I'm really moving the vehicle at this point. That's because even with that adapter, everything is nice and secure. It does use a metal adapter, which helps with that. So my personal thoughts about this rack is, if you're looking for something super light, super compact, super easy, or relatively easy to use, and still affordable, this is gonna be the one for you. If you do have extra heavy electric bikes though, especially the ones that are over 35 pounds, I do rec recommend taking a look at something like the Kuat Sherpa or an electric bike rack like the Rocky Mounts Monorail. So hopefully this video helped you out with seeing what kind of features you need or you want, and that way you can get the best fit for you and your different types of bikes. But right here, right now, this was a look at the Hollywood Racks Destination 2-Bike Platform Rack on our 2022 Volkswagen Taos.